Mom, I am back. My freedom was exchanged with Collins's sufferings and servitude. I am so sad to tell you this, but there was nothing I could do. The only option left was our execution, and that was what Uncle Lokafor wanted. Colin said that justice, hope, and miracle is for the living, and I believe him. That is why I'm here. I'm here to make sure that all the sufferings and hardship Uncle Loka for put us through, including this shameless and miserable way you were buried, does not go unpunished. Do you know he went as far as making sure that all the witnesses that were there when he signed the agreement with Collins denied it ever happened. He wants to take possession of everything you and dad worked for all the years. But I won't let it happen. That is why I am here. I will make sure that everything that belongs to us is given back to us. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I am sure that I will make it happen. Failure and giving up, they're not just an option. It is either I succeed or I die. With this sand from your grave in my hands, I swear. My husband, if you need my own, no, no more. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Money is good. Hey, sir. Mm. I don't know why where you're coming from. That you're smelling like that. But whatever it is, it is good for you. Very good for you. The only thing I want to tell you is that you are no longer welcome in this country. Yes, sir. Yes. Mm. Meaning. Meaning that the work of charity that made us to accommodate you, a working bad luck like you, your miserable mother. And your arm robber brother is over. So you go in there, pack, what, pack whatever that is yours, and leave. If you have anything to work back, you know, eh? If you need anywhere to stay, face your grandparents' house where your miserable mother's carcass was buried. Hmm? I bet my husband to allow you stay there. And he kindly accepted. Enano? So better run in there now. Pick whatever you need. Oh yeah, face that side before he changes his mind. I throw you to the streets. Hmm? Where you roam and die like your miserable mother. Are you, Pama. Are you done talking? Are you expecting me to give you a reply? I don't have anything to tell you because I don't have any reply to give you. You won't have reply now. No, you get Uncle Okafo, this compound belongs to my father. 
Deny it all you can. It is the truth. And by the way, you're standing by his graveside. I am back, which is the truth. I am back for justice. I'm going to fight for it with the last strength I have. It may take me years, but trust me, I will achieve it. Try forcing me out. The news will be all over our dead bodies. Let us go and continue. Don't worry. Obviously, if you look for an anti saloon, we were not coward into letting me stay on in that compound by my threat to them that day as I had thought. It is now clear that while I was busy in the past few weeks thinking of how to go about stopping them and freeing Collins, they were busy planning on how to frustrate me. I cannot fight and stop them from here. And I cannot allow them to stop me either by letting the current situation stand. No. Never. I will do whatever it takes to leave this cell. I will build the business I have started. I will succeed in it and raise money to free Collins and hire a lawyer to fight them and get my father's assets back from them. I will and I must. You asked to see me? Yes. Have you investigated the claims I made in my statement? Are you now giving the police orders from the tone I just detected from your voice? I demand to be taken to court. Or I will sue you for keeping me beyond the legal limit without charging me. And what is the meaning of that? What you just heard, sir. Investigate the claims I made in my statement and free me or charge me to court. And you have less than 24 hours to do that. Oh. The fury of hell is nothing near the fury of a wounded woman. This is the last time I'm going to speak to you in just mere words. Are you threatening us? I am just giving you a forewarning of what I will do if you do not charge me to court. You rascal. Who do you think you know? Wait and see. Please take me back to myself. Sergeant. Okay. Take her back. What, is this? what do you think you can do? Let me tell you, see, you are a criminal and you will continue to remain a criminal. There's nothing you can do. Nonsense. So, sir, the last time a suspect spoke that kind of word before me was when I joined the police. The officer in charge and our superiors called her love. And the next morning, what we found in our cell was her corpse. She committed suicide. Officer, nothing of such will happen in this case. Listen, let me tell you. Ogonna, that I know, loves life more than life itself. Hmm? Listen to me. She will only talk and nothing will be done. I can assure you. She said that the fury of hell is nothing to compare to the fury of a wounded lady. And I totally agree with her. With the much I have heard about her story with you, she is a badly wounded lady. From my professional experience, I can tell that nobody can produce such a woman, no matter how well he thinks he knows her. So, what are you trying to say now? Everybody involved in the case I, I told you earlier, was dismissed from the police and uh, jailed too. My men and I do not want to end up that same way because of this case. Don't tell me, officer, that you are planning to let her go just like that. Remember, I am paying you 500,000 Naira just for this case, Inspector Chime. Our careers are much more important to us than such money, sir. I'm sorry. You are sorry. Come on, sir. You told us that your aim in this case is to have us build a tight case against her. Take her to court and jail her so that you can easily get her poisoned in the prison yard. I just told you that the statement she wrote, despite our best effort to get her 
implicated in it was so legally sound that it will be useless trying to use this against her in the court of law. Even if you can bribe a friendly magistrate to dance to your tune, such is not a strong point to back up. These days, with numerous human rights lawyers out there waiting for a case like this to shine with, make any wrong move that will get their attention. And you will not only be forced to return her wealth to her and her brother, but will also end up in jail. God forbid. God forbid it's my job. Listen. Even if you are going to release her, do not do it in such a way that it will seem as if it is her threat that made you to release her. Because that would embolden her. And I wouldn't like it. And me too. Don't worry. I have a plan. Tell me about it. We want to take her to the place she claims she wants and legally go the Yams name to Matos, pretending to be investigating her claims as she wanted. In the process, we will try our best to make her make one incriminating move or say something we can use against her in a court. Well, if she does any of those, good. If not, we will release her and still save face for ourselves. Well, it's okay. It's all right, hmm? but if you have to do that, you have to do it tomorrow. Yes, I need to take care of something in case all these things ends up in her release. And um, hmm. what do you intend to do? Ah, officer, <laughs> let me not bore you with the details, eh? Let me not bore you with the details. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Thank you very much. Thank you, eh? Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Yes. That is what I will do. If I cannot eliminate her, have I made a mistake by threatening them? This is way into the next day and none of them has come to talk to me or at least give me water to drink. Is it possible that they knew I was just acting yesterday and decided to call my bluff and punish me? God please, what I did was my last card and I need to get out of here. Don't let it backfire on me please, save me. That is him there. That is Alaji, sir. Alaji, please. Please, come and tell them that I'm not a thief. They are just parading me everywhere because they saw yam and tomato with me. Tell them that I are the one that supplied those things to me. Eh? Are you Alaji, sir? Yes. You are Alaji, sir. Can you tell me I'm not getting the answer? I don't care. I tell you, I don't tell you, sir. I carry tomato. I buy tomato. I buy yam. You carry, carry gun the Persian. Allah, you tell me what I need to know before I count you as an accomplice in the stealing. Oh, now over and carry on, carry on. Me, carry on. Let me go and inspect the scene. Let me go, sir. Officer, arrest this man. Ah, arrest me. Yes. Wallahi, you, 
Alaji, will you will you leave that phone and Hello, Commissioner? Uh -huh. Yes. Hello, you are Nini. Eh, Nini Alaji Ibrahim. Nini. Me a Nini Alaji is a don't want to say that I am a police. Deputy, eh, Ibrahim, Madam Ibrahim, you are. I call what you are on that to do. Do you have to do it? Where you live on our police? I can't arrest my yari away the house with the people but in the price to work to get money to food. This police boy I want to do. See you in the city of 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 the Yes, sir. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Make sure you are dead. Dead to one that is strong. Yes, sir. I'm trying to select the strong one. If I let you see. I hope those jams are sweet, Yamo. I don't want to... Hey. Let me take more yams now. Take more yams. Yeah? It's okay like this. Nah, I need this thing to stay. Ah, you need to stay your leg. Good. Good. Let's grind the tomatoes for her. Honey, face the yam, face the yam. Do this tomato well, man. Yes. Let's go. Okay. I'm learning from you. I'm learning from you. I were inside when it happened. There was nothing we could have done. Hey! Man, you go there, go. Hey! Yes, so. Hey! Mm -mm. Yes, 
Yes, so we were inside when it happened. Honey? Sorry. So goats mysteriously jumped the fence. Or better still, they broke the gate, came to this house, destroyed my yams and my tomatoes. Hey! Goats came into this house, destroyed my yams instead of eating them. And you say there was nothing you could have done. Yes, yeah, so. There is nothing, there was nothing we could have done. Huh? Honey? What are you trying to say? Hey. To who? To the goats standing before me? The goats that didn't eat my yam but destroyed them? Huh? Ogona does not have anything to say. But I promise you, Ogona has something to do about this wickedness. Where is she going to? I told you. I told you that when she comes back eh, and see what has happened to her yam and, and her tomato, look, she will look keen for anything that she has been planning up her sleeve. Oh. Eh? I told you. Where is she going to? She is going to her mother's grave to cry. Let's up and find him. Let's up and find him. Go, 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 go to the gate. Yeah, only too much. Leave me. Wicked man. You needed to have witnessed it. The commissioner ordered us to release her and report to his office immediately. He only stopped short of flogging us like erring children. In fact, on the orders of the Alahaji's DIG's brother, we are placed on disciplinary probation as we speak. Any other such report against us ever again, either by Ogonna or any other person, will see us fired from the police and charged to court too. This happened before ordinary Okonda. Did she follow you to the commissioner's office and witness what you just told me? No. We have already released her before going to see our commissioner. But what difference does it make? Anyhow you look at it, all of us and our careers are now at the mercy of that little girl. All because of you. Inspector Chime, you don't have to talk like this. Yeah? There is a way we can... Uh, End all this once and for all. End it once and for all. How? Uh, uh, we can uh, arrange uh, uh, an accident. Uh, uh, we can arrange an accident. You see, if uh, Ogonna dies, you know, accidentally, uh, Anything she has against you, or me, or my wife, all of them will want to die with her. It will all be over. You are a devil. You are a wicked man. In fact, you are a criminal. Officer! Officer, come and detain this idiot here. Please, please. Please, I beg you. I beg you, God. Oh, no. I beg you, please. Don't, 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 don't say me. I, I swear, I, 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 I'm sorry. I, if I even think of Ogonna in my thoughts, arrest me. But now, please, eh? Let, let, let. Just go, just go, just go! Get out of this place! Eh?
welcome. I knew you would come once you get my text message. I also knew that you would branch here to see me once I ask you to. I hope you came alone. Sure. And no one, no one knows whom you were coming to meet or what you are going to discuss with him. Hmm? Yes. Very well then. Sit down. Sit. Let's... Hmm? While we discuss. I'm not interested in your drink, Mr. Okafor. In fact, I didn't come here to sit down and discuss with you. I already know the story of your evil deeds against Collins and his family since his father died. Yes. As far as that family is concerned, you and your wife can be best described as walking evils. Yes. So as you can see, I didn't come here because of the test message you sent me containing uh, the wicked conjecture against Collins and his sister because day or night I rather believe the lie from Collins mouth than the truth from your evil soul. Interesting. Very, very interesting. So, why did you come here? To demand for my 50,000 US dollars, of course. That you obviously hired armed robbers to, to, to rob Collins, my boy. And obviously set him up to deprive him from his eminent settlement by me. Yes. Is that what you think? It is what I know, Mr. Okafo. Yes, it is what I know. Listen, Collins is a well brought up God. He cannot go so low to steal from anyone. Rather, neither me, his boss. He, he, he'd rather die a destitute. So, as you can see, he's no getting near an evil dog like you, Mr. Okafu. However, let me tell you, I have decided to forget about the money and settle Collins, make him the ogre that I have planned. And obviously you go ahead to ask for Gona's hand in marriage. That will not be possible. Who is going to stop me, Mr. Okafo? You? <laughs> Come on, dear. This time you misfire. You and your wife better give me my 50,000 US dollars. Or you will hear good news about Colin's settlement and Ogun and I and Ogun's marriage from the prison. Or you prefer me to call the police to arrest and be the truth out of you. You're correct. You're very correct. I took the money from Ikenna. I, I was the one who hired the boys that took the money from him. I, I'm sorry. I, I would return all your monies to you, everything. But before that, I want to tell, I want to tell you a story. You are testing my patience, Mr. Okafo. Same here, Ikenna. Same here. If you make me walk out of this place in anger, you will be facing the hangman sooner than later. I will not warn you again. Neither will I, Mr. Ikenna. Now, my story. 
story story eight years ago your elder brother kalunta ran mad from the university in his final year He was caught having sex with Ezichi, your imbecile younger sister, by your mother. But she made a mistake of attacking them and he strangulated her. You sent Kalunta to a metal home. Buried your mother. And aborted Ezichi's pregnancy. When in a few weeks, you discovered that she was pregnant for Kalunta. You covered up murder and incest. Why? Why? But but that's not the real story. That's not the real issue. No, 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 no that's not that. Recently, Kalunta ran away from the mental home with a greater addiction for every chief womanhood. Dandy, a common village criminal who was already Warming Ezichi's private arena, though secretly, caught them in the act and recorded everything. Dandy tried to blackmail you for a huge sum of money and you silenced him. Unknown <sighs> to you, Dandy's friend recorded everything and with the sex tape Dandy had given to him earlier, it was easy. It was easy for him to get you to send him to South Africa. And with $20,000 to go with it. But! He arrived South Africa to a hail of bullets from your drug business partners. End of story. Or so you thought through or false. Ha <laughs> ha.
how do you manage to know about all this? I mean, I mean how, how do you come in contact with Joe? Because Joe gave me the original copies of those video clips before he left for South Africa. And I, I personally burned them. I destroyed them before me. So how, how do you manage to know all this? <laughs> Double cross. He's a common decimal in the criminal underworld. And he can now. Nobody. No one. He has monopoly of it. Do you still want your money back? Huh? What? Are you still going to call the police to arrest me? What do you want? <laughs> what do I want? Huh? What do I want? 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 I want <sighs> Mr. Okafo is not going to make it difficult for you. I want Pastor went ahead to black men into doing the abominable offense and don't the coins and his small family. The boy that sang this to choose for you. That is, all mother and sister became victims of my personal mistakes and tragedy. Right inside this room, I agreed to join forces with the evil enemy to turn the world upside down just to save my neck. But today again, same devil has some, someone be here for what he called an emergency. Okay, I am waiting. I don't understand why you say release Collins. What is going on? Our partnership is over. It's over. I want to make peace with my nephew and my niece. That's what is going on. Oh. And what if I say no? You can now. That will send you to the executioner's chamber. Faster than you can imagine. You remember, just remember. I still have the murder and incest tapes with me. Yes. Really? Yes. Wait right here. Uh, 
and I have a video record of you confessing before me how you robbed me of my money, blackmailed me with physical evidence. You recorded this? Come on, Mr. Okafor. Democracy is a common decimal in the criminal world and no one no one has a monopoly of it. Your very word before me here, this living room some weeks ago. Well, you said whatever we had going on I just ended. Well, to me, I'm saying an emphatic no to that because we are just starting. You started this game with me and I will end it. How and when you watch and see. Something happened today. Yes. A very senior police officer. Allergy size then. Come on. My boy kid him on his way to the bank. And they made it look like a robbery case. What? How how, how did How did I get to know about the spoiler role he played against you and your police friend today? Unlike you who laid your guard down. By telling me to come here before you. By so doing, you neutralize and and uh, you neutralize yourself. You see, I I I I wash my food closely, and you are one of them, Mr. Okafor. I made my money as a drug baron in South Africa, and such business is not for the naive and foolish brains. Thanks for the money though. You can know it. There is a new development. My wife and I spread some and stole some from Ogona's yams and tomatoes. And you are afraid that when she left your compound today, she will go and see uh, Alaji Isa's D.I.G.'s brother. Come on, are you so daft? Alajisa is dead. That ends Ogona's police connection. She's not back to square one. More than she, Inspector Chi-Men and his men are the ones you should be worried of. Not um, uh, uh, what you are thinking now. Well, those ones will not hesitate to use you to wipe their lost face before they are superior. So, all that we advise you now is to stay away from Ogona. If you ask me. Anyway. Let me take my leave. Nine years ago, Daddy, you were laid to rest here. And I was here with everybody. I told you to rest in peace. But it looks like it was a mistake. Because all hell has been let loose. <laughs> Everything is upside down now. There is no peace around us. Me, Collins. Your brother. Your brother humiliated your wife to, to death and you're still here resting in peace. <sighs> I have come today. Again, by your grief side, to tell you that you're no longer going to rest in peace. You have to get to over to I am going to leave this compound. Not because I want to, but because my uncle, your brother, and his wife are about to drive me to a point where I will take my life and I don't want to do it. So I'm here to make a request. If you know how you've been resting for these nine years, I want you to rest no more. You are going to get up and make sure that Uncle Okafo and his wife do not have peace. That every dream, every desire of theirs will not come to pass. All their plans will fail. You will make sure that everything they took from us, they return in full. You will make sure they sleep and not have peace. When they sleep, you wake them up. You have been sleeping so they will not sleep 
I want you to get up and do something. You can't let us suffer like this. You're just lying down there doing nothing. And we're here suffering. Your wife has joined you and you cannot do anything. You're not going to rest again. You're going to give them sleepless nights. They're going to have days of, of torture. They're not going to have peace. Let the shadows chase them until they return all they have taken from us. You can't just keep, keep lying down there and, and keeping quiet and doing nothing. That is my request. And you have to do it. They say the spiritual controls the natural. You are there. You see more than I see. So come and do something. I'm tired of you resting and doing nothing. So. No, it was exposed to me. <laughs> Where are you going to? I am going to my grandparents' home. With your luggage? Yes, with my luggage. Ogona has decided that she will no longer continue to live in the same compound with wicked she and he goats. Who derive joy in making people's lives miserable. The stench of their evil is so bad that she cannot take it any longer. Goodbye, goats. How dare you? How dare you call us goats? You hit me what? Did I call you? Did I call your name? Oh, Kona Are you now the ghost that enter my barn eating my yams and my tomatoes? Are you? Um, no. No, but. But, but what? See, lest I forget. Ogona has also decided that she will not report this case to anybody, not even the police, because she has. She has her hands full. She, she can't waste her time on stupid things like this. Her future is bright. She can't come and be re reporting a, a, a case of God stealing yam and all of that. She doesn't have that time anymore. I hope this information will make the goods sleep well tonight and afterwards. Just that they have, in their wickedness, uprooted peace and planted crisis on their heads. Hey! The harvest is looming, goats. And it is bountiful. I hope they will enjoy it when it comes. Goodbye, goats. Nay, nay, she goats, she goats. I don't finish up for blood. Yes, I don't finish. My friend and I decided to go. Madam, that is not why I'm here. I, I came to ask you something. You see that place that they offload uh, goods? They said, now you get them. Yeah. I won't offload for you. Okay. You know how much I will do and for blood and for good? That is not a problem, I don't ask and they don't tell me, so I'm okay by it. And my boys are strong, they are ready to work. Uh, come and show me, thank you a lot. Malam, this thing is over by 40,000 naira. I know. Like I do one for you to be strong with my you are blood and for you are blood and for you are blood and for many 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 people are blood and for you I make me do one for you to go village to help you Thank you Alad Thank you 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 I won't beg you for something You see this market where you they say how to sell goats, how to sell chicken, fowl, all those things where they sell. Teach me. I won't go sell for my village. Thank you, Alan. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Alan. Oh, wait. 
Betali muah. Siapa? Betali. Muah. Betali lu. Muah. Dia tak. Atau gua muah. Atau. Atau. Jesus. Karunta. Hai. Ha. Karunta. Betali. 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 Okaychuna, Okaychuna, please, you, you won't believe what I just saw now. I just saw Kamu with that lazy chick, having sex. See, but as I'm talking to you right now, he has to be doing it. Before you enter, class eight. Yeah, before you enter. Bam. Collins, Collins, hold on, hold on. Listen to me. Listen, listen carefully. Don't argue with him. Okay, I, I will. Knock before you enter, Collins. Simple etiquette. Learn it, or you refuse. And <laughs> now see blood on your head. Blood? Blood on his head? Come on, what have you done? What, what, what have you done? Are you sleeping? Wake up, oh. Just wake up. In fact, repeat after me. Knock before you enter. Say it. <laughs> Knock before you enter. Oh my God. Oh my God. Kanuta has put me into a mess. My khaki. My khaki. Knock before you enter. Say it. Knock before you enter <laughs> no cool. before you enter go ya calling no cool. before you enter <laughs> no cool. before you enter classy calling no cool. before you enter <laughs> no cool. before you enter go ya before, before you enter <laughs> no cool. before you enter go ya calling no cool. before you enter no cool. Before you enter, for ya now. Before you enter, <laughs> no. Before you enter, for ya now. Before you enter, <laughs> no. Before you enter, for ya. Before you enter. Ay 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 Mistaken, how? Please, is he, is he okay? He's going to make it. Oh, sure, he will. Yes. So, you mean the injury did not damage his brain or his skull? Oh, no, no. See, the scan didn't trivial anything. Ah, thank God. Thank God. Which means he is conscious now, right? That's why I came to see you. He lost so much blood that he risks concussion and other dangerous complications if he regains consciousness now. Yeah. I had to sedate him to enable us to properly patch him up first. The trauma in his brain will last for days or weeks. And that's why it is safer to keep him unconscious. But we will be needing some pints of blood immediately. Blood? Doctor, don't you have his blood match in this hospital? Oh, Mr. Iken. We have no blood bank in this facility. But then we have made arrangements for two people whose blood matches with his. Oh. Yes, they're on their way here. That's good. But you know that we require some... No, the money. Don't worry. 
I am relieved and happy for this very good news. No problem. For the money, I will handle that. Uh, but doctor, I have something very important to discuss with you. Can I see you privately in your office? Oh, sure. Of course. Of course. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. I should go before you. Yeah, sure.
mistaken. What happened, Doctor? Eh? I told you to admit and properly treat her of whatever ailment that is worrying her since yesterday, Doctor. There is nothing wrong with her. What you called ailments is normal for a woman in her condition. Normal? Yeah. Doctor, I don't get it. Yeah. She is two months on. What she needs is rest and nothing more. Excuse me. Skyjet Hotel. You want to watch one for more details? All right, all right.